My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be, to be. You're listening to the new Mutual Audio Network. Welcome home. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. and this is the world's longest running and largest showcase of modern audio drama, The Sonic Society, with episode 718. And with a quick wish that your Nads Rim is working out for you this year, we must press on with episodes 4, 5, and 6 from The Grove. And the second part of our sextet begins right here on The Sonic Society. The Grove by Meg Toogood. Episode 4. Name. Oh, I... I didn't think anyone would be here on Saturday. Neither did I. We left the place in a bit of a mess. Yeah. I, I hope I... It's fine. I didn't know how you'd feel. Really, it's fine. I really love my job. I, I would never normally... This is a difficult case. We've been under a lot of pressure. I mean, we have a duty to the people who died. The way we behaved Dan, is... Dan, it's a lot of pressure. We broke. And now we're going to tidy up and get on with the job. Good. Yeah. That's what I was hoping. Oh, I found your, um... Tights. I'll take the rubbish out. And put some coffee on. Yeah. Beck. Dan, it's fine. Just get some work done. Okay. This is Forensic Technician Beck Boatman, identifying myself as the processing officer. Further quality assurance needs to be carried out on the recordings immediately previous to this one, so I'm numbering all subsequent recordings from digital item 34.01. Metadata indicates recording taken 23rd of September, 8.14am. Commencing playback. Listen to me. Okay, so we're all agreed. Ah, Mira, did you have something to say? Actually, can I just update you from another meeting? I think that's everything. Listen to me. Mira, did you want to add to this? I'd like to brief everyone on a couple of developments. Listen to me. I'm going to outline the reasons why I disagree. Listen to me. I think it will be more successful if we approach it from a different perspective. Welcome again, podcast listeners. So by now, you'll have heard how terrified I was to give my big speech and how well it went. I'm just recording this extra episode to give you all a happy ending. This job is way easier than I thought it would be. I know it's trite and reductive, but I faced my fear and did it anyway. I wanted to tell you that it's really possible. Apologies for the background noise. There literally isn't time to leave my desk between calls this morning. You're lucky not to be listening to me shoving down a breakfast bagel. Ash! Mira? I haven't seen you for a couple of days. Harvest Festival took some clearing up. I bet. I should get on. Do you want to get lunch later? Um, if you want to. Of course I want to. Why wouldn't I want to? I don't know. Harvest Festival... Things go weird, right? But not between us. No? No. Meet you at 1.30? Apologies for interrupting. 
Mira, can I have a word? Coffee. Oh, fantastic. What did I miss? It's all getting a bit inspirational. Nothing that wouldn't trust us. Were we still processing audio last night when we... Yeah. That's not good. There's nothing pertinent to the case. Probably won't be until we get closer to the collapse. Good. Item 34.02, 23rd of September, 10.53am. Commencing playback. Just because it's an ugly thing to say doesn't mean it shouldn't be said. So go ahead and actually say it. If you want to be taken seriously, if you put your career first, you mustn't be seen to have too many... friends in departments like AB Support. (sighs) What you're saying is I shouldn't be with Ash. Harvest Festival, Mira. You were seen. (gasps) Did you see yourself at Harvest Festival? Mind your tone. Mind yours. I'm trying to tell you something you need to hear. And I'm trying to tell you I'm not interested. You need to understand that your career will be built on the way you're perceived. Your work ethic, your appearance, agreeing with Tim when he needs to be agreed with. What about my work? My ideas? My talents? Those are just the entrance ticket. If you want to make it to the VIP lounge, you need a different skill set. What if your relentless judgement isn't helping? I'm helping you be a better person. No. You've got me spinning around so fast, I don't know who I am anymore. At Parallax, we develop our people. So my only choice is to be what you want me to be. Parallax is successful because people devote themselves to the company. We speak with one voice. It was my voice that you wanted me to find. Mira, being here is the most important thing you'll ever do. Of course you need to speak, but... Listen to me. Maybe it would be easier to speak if you would just be quiet for a few minutes. Uh, I can't... Angie? What's wrong? Angie! Dan, have you ever heard of infrasound or unconscious sound? Unconscious sound used in horror movies? It's sound that can affect your mood without you really knowing you've even heard anything. What's your point? Harvest Festival. They all seem to have let their hair down a bit too much, and after we listened to the recordings, we, um... Had to fish your tights out from behind the monitor. What if it wasn't just the pressure of work? What if the sound affected us too? What if Ash Tucker was right? Well, if that was the case, we'd have to find the source of the sound. Logically, it would have to be at the centre of the collapse. The phone. A phone can't emit unconscious sound. Let's hope not. Item number 34.03, 23rd of September, 12.32pm. Commencing playback. There you are. I came down the east stairs and as soon as I stepped into the grove it was like I'd just come in by the front door. I got us one of everything worth eating from the dining room. Do you want artichoke salad or walnut soup? Mm, can I have the soup? My throat is still really dry all the time. You can't still be hung over from Harvest Festival. No, it's been rough since... Well... Well... Well, since I met Willow. Who's Willow? Do you know anyone in the gaming and fictional content team? No, they don't tend to need me. So you think she's given you a throat infection? I don't know what to think. Because we did... And I feel fine. (laughs) Are you too embarrassed to say the word kiss? Yes, it's not a lunchtime word. (laughs) You're blushing. Stop it. (laughs) So, what wasn't worth eating from the dining room? Mm, Mung bean risotto. (sighs) Okay, thanks for the soup. (laughs) Did you know walnuts are actually seeds? (laughs) What, like... They should be called wall seeds. (laughs) No, I think they should be called walnut seeds. Mm, It doesn't sound right. There's a whole subreddit about it. Oh, must be true then. (laughs) Oh, I've just been on the phone with the office in Indonesia. They're doing really interesting stuff out there. Uh, Parallax does interesting stuff everywhere. True. Thinking of going? To Indonesia? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I have to do six months in another office anyway. They like to keep you on your toes. So, have you seen Terry? Yeah. Did she say anything about what happened with Tim? 
She said it looked different to how it was. But he can't treat people like that just because they work for him. No, but... But nothing. But everyone had so much to drink. You're the only person who remembers Tim being out of order, including Terry. Plus... Plus what? Plus, I just saw them in the dining room having lunch together. No way. Hey, want to hear something funny? Okay. Angie honestly sat me down this morning and told me to be careful who I'm seen with. Oh. I mean, who does she think she is? She meant me and you. Well, apparently, this is not the done thing if I want to aspire to higher office. I see. It's like the corporate version of a Jane Austen movie. The developers do tend to keep themselves to themselves because the stuff they're working on, it's too difficult for the rest of us mere mortals to understand. I'd never noticed before what absolute bollocks that is. Maybe it doesn't matter that it's bollocks. What? I said maybe it doesn't matter. I heard what you said, but what do you mean? You didn't get into one of the most competitive grad schemes in the world just to date the AV technician. Ash? I've been dumped before. I don't need you to spell it out for me. Have fun in Indonesia. Ash! Look, I'm doing you a favour. Don't! I thought you'd find it as funny as I do. Ash! Hey, you're recording again. I bet he'd have held on to her if he knew it was about to happen. Can we seriously consider the fact that there might have been some ultrasound or infrasound within the building that could have contributed to the collapse? Infrasound would have caused a sudden collapse, not gradual damage to steel pillars. But we could flag the possibility. Anything we flag, we might have to put to the most expensive lawyers in the world. Let's decide once we've finished listening to all of the recordings. Item 34.04, 23rd of September, 2.17pm. Commencing playback. So, grads, welcome to the first forest school since Harvest Festival. Mark, how was your talk? Yeah, I should have taken your advice. The math was quite a challenge for people. But you recognise that. Great position for growth. Mira, care to self-reflect? I'm pleased with how it went. And can you find a point for self-improvement? No. I'm just happy. This meeting is time to self-reflect. To grow. Can you find a point of growth, Mira? I should have delivered slides five and six in a different order. It would have helped the audience follow the story I was trying to tell. But overall, I'm delighted. Delighted? Anyone would be. Mira, do you know this person? No. Sort of. Anyone would be delighted to take their side of the bargain and not give what they promised in return. This meeting is for graduate developers only. Thank you. Do you deny me? I gave you your voice. I don't have time for this disruption. Move away, please, so the rest of us can focus. Both of you. But... Listen to me. I don't want to. You mu- <clears throat> must... Must... Angie? Must... Let me... Uh, Angie, what's wrong? You have silenced her. Go! Please! Okay, what just happened? She just choked a bit, didn't she? Did she? It sounded like more than that. We should ask her what happened. We can't. Oh. She was near the east wall when it buckled. Oh, God. She's one of the 37 confirmed dead. Item 34.05, 23rd of September, 2.54pm. Commencing playback. Will I wait? Let me catch up. What, what, what happened to Angie? We must go deeper. A what? You mean further in? Further in, further down. What did you do to everyone at the Harvest Festival? What did I do? You spoke it, and it was so. The best night that anyone can remember. Did you spike the drinks or something? Even as your power grows, you deny it. <sighs> Enough of speaking in riddles. Who are you? I have told you, I am the Willow. First to awaken, the most lonely and the most sad. I am the Grove, and I do not care to be betrayed. I haven't done anything. Indeed, 
I have granted your heart's desire. I have given you the most powerful voice in the world. I have revealed to you your elemental self. I have turned humankind upside down with drunkenness and lust at your command, and still you have not lifted one finger to fulfill your side of our bargain. What bargain? He wanted to find your voice. I gave you a voice. I want my brothers and sisters to hear the song of the earth. You must free us, free our roots. I don't know what you're talking about. I care nothing for what you know and don't know. A bargain is still a bargain. A debt unpaid, still a debt. I don't owe you anything. You do, and you will pay, one way or another. Mira? Ash, what are you doing here? I don't know. I thought I was heading back to the dining room. The heart of every wandering, lovesick fool belongs to me. And while I have him, he will never leave the grove. Don't be ridiculous. Ash, let's go. Ash, what a beautiful name. What's happening to my feet? Ash, the tree of the serpent. Something is stretching my toes. Mira? What are you doing to him? Stop! This isn't fair. Fair? I gave you your voice. You have given me nothing. Okay, okay. We made a bargain, I remember. Ash, the tree of the eagle. Take it back. I don't need it anymore. I I don't need my voice. Just let him go. Too late. My legs. I can feel the green running through my flesh. Ash, the tree of holy wells. I can't breathe. Who leaves will breathe for you. Mira, I can stop. This is all my fault. I'll fix it, I promise. Ash, the tree of Odin. Stop it! I took my chest. Listen to me. Stop! I am the child of the earth. Your voice cannot command me. I think... Mira was played by Sally Walker-Taylor, Ash by Matty McCabe, and Willow by Amelia Gardham. Dan was played by Benjamin Jones, Beck and Angie by Jasmine Rochelle, and Terry by Tori Lewis. Other parts were played by members of the cast. Sound design was by Ed Clark. The Grove was written and directed by Meg Tugard and produced by Stevie Cook for Raw Creative Productions. The Grove by Meg Tugut Episode 5 Roots These noises and glitches they're not normal We're forensic investigators we log everything first interpret later Do you think it's safe for me to keep listening? Is this the infrasound again? Because we haven't found anything in the building capable of producing it I can tell when a phone is in a pocket, a bag, or under furniture when a crime is in progress. This isn't any of that. I want to know I'm safe. Of course you're safe. A phone isn't sophisticated enough to pick up unconscious sound. I was talking to Jan in Witness Liaison, and she said a really high number of parallax survivors have been moved into psychiatric care. I'm not surprised. Digital item 34.06. 23rd of September, 2.54pm. It did it again. What? Lost time. Noted. Commencing playback. Ash! Can you hear me? What have you done? Merely returned him to his elemental nature. Every human has one. Turn him back! No. Turn him back! You turn him back. How? Fulfill your side of the bargain. Return us to the Earth. I have no idea what you're talking about. The Earth? But we're on the Earth. We're standing on it. Not this shallow, silent skin. We need the deep. The Earth of the mountains. The Earth of moors. We need to hear our brothers and sisters. The pines. The olives. The oaks. All forests are one forest. But what do you want me to do? Trees draw power from the Earth by their roots. We drink from the earth. We... Well, what do I do? They'll never let me down to where the roots are. I'm no one. I'm just a developer. You have your elemental voice. 
irresistible to all who hear it. Use it. Free our roots. Or I keep your lovesick paramour. Has anyone seen Terry? Mark, have you seen her? Who? Facilities. Always has ten bunches of keys. Oh, no, sorry. Angie, have you seen Terry? Okay, Mira, I need a word. I don't have time. Now, into my office. I don't know what's going on with you, Mira, but we need to discuss your attitude. I'm starting to think the graduate program might not be the place for you. Be quiet. Listen to me. Are you listening to me? I'm listening to you. You don't need to speak to me right now. I don't need to speak with you right now. Oh my god. You're just listening to everything I say. I am listening to everything you say. You're pleased with my work. I'm pleased with your work. I'm the top performer on the graduate program. You're the top performer on the graduate program. Now, sit here and delete your old emails. I just need to delete my emails. What am I going to do? Don't answer. Rhetorical question. I know what you'd do. You'd put parallax first. So there's no point in asking your advice because you'd be wrong. Terry! Terry! Mira, have you seen Ash? Why would I have seen Ash? I thought you guys were... No? If you do see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Terry, I know this is a weird question. Is there a basement to this building? Um, No, not really. Just the service levels. Boiler room, electricity breakers, that sort of thing. So, what's underneath the grove? Nothing. Just the feeder tubes and irrigation. Can I get down there? Why? Uh, For the podcast. I thought it might be a fun, behind-the-scenes type of thing. Are you still doing that? I thought it was just for Harvest Festival. Terry, can I get underneath the grove? No, it's restricted for health and safety reasons. Can you get underneath? Of course I can. I'm a facilities manager. Terry, I need you to listen to me. Are you listening to me? I'm listening to you. Show me how to get underneath the grove. I'll show you how to get underneath the grove. You walk, I will follow. I'll walk, you can follow. Here we are. The staircase behind this door will take you there. Open the door. I can open the door with this security fob. Give me your keys. Here are my keys. Thank you. And... sorry. Server room, boiler room, plant room. Whoa. Come in, Mira. Willow, I can't see you. Further in. This place is huge. Further in, further in. These light bulb things, are they tree root? Yes, yes. Each one a silent yellow moon. We are held in jails of glass and cannot hear... The song of the earth. Yep, we're on the same page. Where's Ash? Are his roots here? No. He grows only in the shallow earth and will topple if... I'm not helping. I'm doing it, okay? I'm doing the thing that you want me to do. What are these tubes? Ah, meagre food. That keeps us only from starving. As if food were more important than song. Are we... Are we the only ones here? Look at the roots. There's something sleeping in each bauble. But if I look straight at them, then they fade into the roots. I can only see them from the corner of my eye. My brothers and sisters, they scream even in their sleep. They beg to be freed, awakened. They long to dance. Are you getting louder, or am I getting closer? Further in, further in. There you are. You look... opaque. It must be a trick of the light. Here in the underworld, I am my shadow self. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's just a basement. And yet, you are finding it more difficult to breathe? 
Am I? Where there are roots, there must be shadows. There is the above and the below. You are a creature of the upper realms. Right. What do you want me to do? Free them. Uh, the roots? The roots! Uh, what with? If these are strong enough to contain tree roots, then how am I supposed to smash them? With enough strokes, a blade in a human hand can fell an oak. Okay, but I don't have a blade. Fire. I don't have a match. The blade is emblazoned with the symbol of the fire. The blade is... Ah, the fire axe. There's a fire axe. Health and safety. Genius. Okay. Alarm. Blanket. Bucket of sand. Extinguisher. Axe. <laughs> Look at me. I see you. I smash the root ball things. You return Ash to me. As he was. Human, I mean. Yes. Yes. Here goes. Yes! Yes! My sisters! My brothers! Awake! Awake! The moonlight calls! Mira! Mira, what are you doing? Stay back! Put the axe down! You want to stay back? I want you to put the axe down! Listen to me! I'm listening! But I need you to put the axe down. Listen, you need to go back to the office. What do you want me to listen to, Mira? It's okay that things got on top of you. It's all going to be okay. Listen to me. Your voice wells not the same power in the Shadowlands. Well, a heads up would have been nice. She can't see you, can she? Because she is not looking for me. She is looking for you. Free us. Free your voice. This is not your element. Here, you are weaker. Finish her. I'm not murdering anyone. Mira, you're not the first person on the graduate program to get overwhelmed. <coughs> it's not that! Yes. I'm hurrying. You'll hurt yourself. Don't stop. Who's that? Security. They carry tasers. <coughs> I'm sorry. I have to help him. Who? Ash. Ash asked you to do this. Oh, you're not going to understand. It, it doesn't matter what I say. You're never going to listen to me. No one ever does. You can put that down and come upstairs. Or you can get hurt. The first option is the best. I didn't realise we had this many security people. You have to protect everyone who works here. From me? But I'd never... Of course you wouldn't. Now help me convince everyone else of that by putting the axe down. No! <laughs> no! Terry! Let go! Stop You'll it. get hurt! Stop it, Mira, for your own sake! No! The job is not even half done. No! <laughs> You are nothing but treachery. I'll keep my side of the bargain. Treachery and madness. Cursed and damned creature of the waves. Betray me and I will destroy him. I promise. Mira was played by Sally Walker-Taylor. Ash by Matty McCabe. And Willow by Amelia Gardham. Dan was played by Benjamin Jones, Beck and Angie by Jasmine Rochelle, and Terry by Tori Lewis. Other parts were played by members of the cast. Sound design was by Ed Clark. The Grove was written and directed by Meg Tugard and produced by Stevie Cook for Raw Creative Productions. The Grove by Meg Tugard. Episode 6 Siren. I must be getting tired. It's like I can hear the audio, but somehow I'm in a daydream. All the dead voices. Losing concentration is a defence mechanism. I daydream I'm lying in a forest, as sun streams through the leaves. That's a daydream I have. Is it? It's just a common daydream, like falling or being chased. You think? These tech companies are known for being a bit culty, 
Did they push this poor mirror girl over the edge? She definitely caused some damage in the plant room. Could the trees have malfunctioned? Malfunctioning trees? I'm not putting that on a report for the most expensive lawyers in the world. You know what I mean? Nope. Could the roots have compromised the building? Trees don't grow that fast. Well, they must have pumped in gallons of water. What about a flood? They could have a major flood and not bring the building down. But the grove is at the epicentre of the collapse. I agree that Mira caused some damage. I just don't think it's enough to bring the building down. This would be easier if she was on the dead list. Don't say that. What? It's true, she's missing. 37 people have lost their lives. It's a conspiracy nuts dream scenario. I'll be glad when this is done. For one thing, that tree has really started to smell. Yeah, I'm surprised it hasn't dried out yet. Digital item number 34.07, 23rd of September, 4.11pm. Commencing playback. Well, Mira, can you explain yourself? No. No, I can't. She was talking as if there was someone else there. Well, there's nothing we can do for her now. Have her taken to the rehab place and call HR. You pushed her too hard. You pushed them all too hard. If they're going to snap, best we find out about it as soon as possible. Can you hear that? What's happening? It's the trees. Oh, don't be ridiculous. The ancient, sacred grove. They're not a decoration, or an air filtration system, or a wellness space. They are a forest. Okay, she really has lost it. See for yourselves. This can't be happening. The trees don't grow this high. We've always been this tall. Almost. This is the seventh floor. We only have a top trim from the fifth. We always planned for the trees to mature. They're in the elevator shaft. No, it's just a trick of the light. The front of the atrium. It'll take more than a few branches to... Let me finish. The building is perfectly safe. Terry? Let's get you somewhere comfy, Mira. Please don't make me use my voice. It hurts. Security are going to remove you from the building. They'll take you somewhere you can have a nice long rest. I need to stay here and get Ash back. Get him back from where? We've spent enough time on this. Time to go, Mira. I'll walk you to the car. There's a nurse waiting to take you. Listen to me. You need to let me leave this room. Would you like to leave the room, Mira? Let me get the door for you. Willow, what do I do? Into the trees. From here? You can only begin from where you are. This is really high. My brothers and sisters will return you to the underworld. Mira, your fall! Mira, come back! Just as well seeing how everyone else doesn't want me to get there. Mira! Further in! I need to find a stairwell. There is another way, ancient way. Mira! Are you sure? Because if they catch me, they're not going to let me go. They will not. Here. It's a tree. Go in. What? Go in. Uh, go into the tree. Mira! Mira! Yes! Ah, uh, it's hollow. Okay, I, I see what you mean. But I'm too big. Embrace your elemental self. Flow. People don't flow. I can squeeze, but I can't flow. Flow. It gets smaller further down. Flow. Am I going to get stuck? I can hear water, but I don't feel wet. Flow. I should be sleeping, but instead I'm going to Flowing. The tree can carry you down, down to the Shadowlands. Fall. 
Way. Is that tree hollow all the way down? No. Then how did I come through? Flow. No. Oh, okay, I don't understand and I don't think I want to. There's so many more routes now. My brothers and sisters can free one another, but still we cannot hear the song of the earth. So what do you want me to do? Further down. Down? The ground? The floor? I I'm not sure I can get through that. Try. Where's the axe? Where you dropped it, when you let them take you away. I'm back, aren't I? Here goes. <laughs> Again! <laughs> Again! Oh, the vibrations, this really hurts. <laughs> Again! <laughs> Again! This isn't going to work. Again. Again. Brothers, sisters, the song of the earth. Wait, I'll be crushed. Then run. Run for your life. Please have let him go. Ash! Further in, further in. Ash! A bargain struck, a bargain kept, a voice for a song, your love returned. I'm me again. We can hear the pines on the mountain, olives in the south, Elm, jacaranda, oak and fir. All forests are one forest. Ash, it's so good to have you back. It's good to be back. What? What? I don't want to go to Indonesia. I, I wasn't trying to break up. I'm crazy about you. You're crazy about me. Uh, no, I don't want you to be enchanted by me. You're the only real connection I've made in this place. I'm not enchanted by you. I'm the only real connection you have in this place. But no! I want the real Ash! I am the real Ash. Willow! Help me! I am here. The voice you gave me. I don't want it anymore. I want to give it back. A bargain has been struck. You can keep your roots. Keep your song. But I don't want the voice. Your elemental form, once given, cannot be returned. None can escape what they truly are. I want people to hear me. The real me. With this voice, all they'll ever do is listen. Listen and run mad. What? There's much in a name. Like with Ash. That's why you could make him into a tree. And there's meaning in your name. My name? What does it mean? My name means ocean. And what happens when the ocean calls for a voice? I don't know. A siren is born. What? You are sharp rocks in shallow water. What have you done to me? With a voice to deprive men of reason. No. Please, no. And lure them to their deaths. Take it back. It is yours. Yours always, your true nature, daughter of Venus. Vera, no! The steel! Stop! You'll bring the building down! There'll be nothing here but forest. Nothing but the grove. She'll be crushed to death. Not if you shelter her. 
Your elemental nature is yours to command. Let me put my arms around you. Let me protect you. Mira! Mira! That's the last of the recordings. Poor souls. Right at the heart of it. Why do you think they haven't found the bodies? Part of the floor collapsed. Maybe they fell through and were buried in the plant room. I might go and lay flowers tomorrow. What do you think that was all about? All that sharp rocks and shallow water. Daughter of Venus. Like you said, we're here to log the facts. A human scream can't bring down a building. If there was an unconscious sound, you seem to have survived it. Logical mind intact. I don't know about that. I keep letting you take me out for drinks. <laughs> Speaking of which, you're not going to tell me you're going to have to write this all up straight away. No, I am not. Let's go. Tapas? Sounds good. I might order some soup. My throat feels really dry. It's breathing in the smell of that old tree. You know what would make that feel better? What? Tequila. Mira. Ash. Where are we? Um, some kind of lab. What's all this stuff lined up? Uh, it looks like steel from Parallax. And that's the bench from the grove. Where, where we had lunch. These are evidence tags. Mira, is this your phone? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. Hey. Yeah? You're recording again. Mira was played by Sally Walker-Taylor, Ash by Matty McCabe and Willow by Amelia Gardham. Dan was played by Benjamin Jones, Beck and Angie by Jasmine Rochelle, and Terry by Tori Lewis. Other parts were played by members of the cast. Sound design was by Ed Clark. The Grove was written and directed by Meg Tugard and produced by Stevie Cook for Raw Creative Productions. And that's this week's show. Check out all show notes on sonicsociety.org for The Grove. And join us next week for more great features. Until then, I'm David Alt. And I'm Jack Ward. Have a great week, everyone. And a good morning. The Sonic Society is written and produced weekly by Jack J. Ward and David Alt, with original music by Sharon B. at SharonB.com. All features, interviews and audio drama shorts are owned completely by their originators and provided to the Sonic Society by Creative Commons Licensing. The Society itself originates from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Thanks for listening. This is Jack Ward, and from everyone here at the Mutual Audio Network, we wish you all safety and protection during the COVID-19 outbreak. Join us as we listen and imagine, and together, 
will make it through this. Please be safe.